this is Craig from Apex Supercritical. Today I'm going to talk about cleaning and maintaining your solenoid valves in the one liter system. Over here real quick, try to get a good top view. Right here you can see we have three solenoid valves, one, two, three, and then your regulator. I've labeled in and out direction of flow. On the solenoid valves themselves, there's an in and out written on each side. So you can use this video here if you want to pause the video and actually see the orientation of every valve and the regulator. And you can see here kind of how the flow works. So if you do take this apart and clean these, refer back to this portion of the video for reinstalling these solenoid valves. There's also a solenoid valve in the system itself. Get the camera back here, I'll show you. There's a solenoid valve right back there, right here. It says out right here. So when you put this solenoid valve back in the system, out should be facing you. So over here, first of all, before doing anything, unplug your system. I'm going to take this one out because it's really easy. Some of these other ones, they're just as easy to get out, but you may have to loosen some other lines to, uh, to get this off. So what you'll do first, get a crescent wrench and you'll take this nut off. Take these labels off. This nut comes off. So does this. You won't actually be dis disconnecting any of this electrical stuff. After you take that nut off, this piece comes right off, just like that. So you don't actually have to disconnect any wires. Just set this off to the side. Then you have this here. Use the wrench that we send you with the system, 9 sixteenths, and that will do. Oh, we have a little pressure in the system, so we'll let that bleed off. Okay, all the pressure's bled off now. We'll go and disconnect these. Oh yeah, this little washer here, that goes inside that. So we'll set that off to the side. We're going to disconnect there. Then, All right, so I've done my fittings, remove that line, solenoid pops right out. As you can see now, like I was saying, out is written on this side, in is written on this side. Now what we want to do is this little rod here, or this little pin, we're going to unscrew it from here. What you'll have to do there, come around here. So now we have this, we need to unscrew this from this. So if you have a vise, that would work best. I don't have a vise, so I'm going to hold that piece there. I've got vice grips, you don't want to scratch this up. So if you have to, put a little cloth or something on here, or just be very gentle. I'm going to grab right here. Don't want to mess up my threads either. Grab it, it's a firm grip, and turn. Just like that. You've cracked it loose, this comes out now. Let's go right over here. So I'm going to unscrew this. Come straight off, set it down, and you have this. So you have this little white plastic piece here, and you have a spring. If you're putting it back in, the white goes first in there, and this would go on top. So we've taken this off, get a little spring here to set these up to the side. Look for any oil built up on this. You can use a little alcohol, clean in here, clean this off if it's sturdy, and then look down in here. In here, you have a little O-ring. Wouldn't hurt to after cleaning this, grease this with some of your silicone grease that we send you. So we're gonna take this now, we've taken this part apart. Come over here, pull your O-ring out, set it aside. Do alcohol acetone, get down in there. Just clean this out. Chances are, one of your valves will probably have oil stuck in it if you're having solenoid problems. Just clean that out. Get some compressed air, blow it out. Now we're gonna put this back together. Oops. Now we're gonna put this back together. Got our thing here, the white piece goes down in there. This, it's clean, so I'm not gonna clean that again. Oh, don't forget your O-ring. Put your O-ring on there. Then this goes in on that. And we screw it in. Once again, if you had a vise, it would help. We don't have one. So I'm just going to hold that there. 
Once again, try not to scratch that pin. Don't have to be over tight. There we go. Nice and tight. Now we're gonna put it back in here. Remember, like I said, pay attention to in and out. Like this. of that is not super important put that piece back on there and then put that piece back on there With our crescent wrench tighten it back up it should be tight enough to where that's not spinning this whole thing here. So get this orientated how you want it. And get this tight enough to where that doesn't turn on you anymore. That's good right there. Then, once you got all put back together, don't put your cover back over your pump just yet. Go ahead and start up your system and test it. Make sure you don't have any leaks down here. In case you forgot to tighten those all the way. Just recheck real quick. And ensure that it's working. All these valves are the same. All these solenoid valves, so the inside of all these are the same, including the one inside the system. 